Low ball flight, penetrating. We've got a good angle right here, so we know how good he is with a wedge. The issue with Laurie is he's been playing somewhat aggressive over the first three days. And if you go against that and you play conservatively, this golf course, you know what it'll do? It'll chew you up nice and, and quiet, spit please, you out. players nowadays who leave the flag in even on short little ones like this yeah. no problem so pass all around no change at the top there one four oh full wedge not blocked out at all go on giddy up It's a little on the slow side when the greens are running over 13. There you go, exactly 31 feet and well, he said it 30 of the 31. That's nothing wrong with that. Seven iron. Not sure you can get this all the way back there, but who cares? You leave it 20 feet under it, all good. And lose just fine. Limpsky, the American, is outnumbered out here. A lot of ex expats, a lot of Brits. For Cantor and this man. Boom. Oh, wow, just turn right to left at the hole. Great try. But that's what he's going to do, Fitzpatrick. He's going to hit fairways, he's going to hit greens, he's going to roll a lot of putts up. for Matt Fitzpatrick. anymore six pars to start the final round for Matt Fitzpatrick great view of the putting grip and we know he's a brilliant putter it's at least three fingers overlapping that I could count Tony almost like just one block the two hands. I think that's a pretty pretty awesome putt from where he was Loving that tone. <laughs> but he has some serious touch. He'll need it. That's silky. That is a silky touch. I mean, that ball started to run away once it gets over past the flag back towards the back fringe back into a slight draft now and when you were playing Valderrama so many holes this is about the straightest on this layout so many holes you need to turn it right to left left to right high low and you get to this hole which is just you could land an A380 on it it's so straight there's one four three he's got himself a nine it's a gorgeous yardage. Yeah. 
Just fine. feel as though I feel he'll start to take these flags on with a wedge especially. Sit down he says and it does. He's going on about planning provisional there. How about this one Wayne? Uh, this is where I reckon he holds one. No, wow, it's surprising. Is that 10 pars in a row? It is. Yeah, it's not bad. It's good, actually. But he hasn't held his fair share today, which is most unlike him. He is the favourite right now. Seven-time winner. He knows how to get it done. But he'll need to hold parts. This is quite damp. Almost like there's been a leaking tap around these parts, and it's a cuppy lie. So this will test him. We know how good he is. That is unbelievably good out of a cuppy lie and a damp lie. That was just uh, so very clever. Yeah, and under the hole as well. So putting up the hill. Can Fitzpatrick make his first birdie of the day? Nope. 11 straight pars. Well, you can't keep a great putter down for long. This won't be going at the hole with any pace. You wouldn't have thought. It's a very good try. He's chucking pars at the field, Matt Fitzpatrick, and it's not doing him any harm. He's closed the gap. It's a good ploy, Robert. It's a great ploy around here. Teasing them. This is a horrible little pup for... Fitzpatrick, this for his 14th par. Yeah, speaking of tricky. Safely done. Long walk up the hill to the 15th of par three. Now, does he try and carry the bunker all the way or feed it in from left to right? Well, he's gone the direct route. Stay in the air. Looks so good from the tee. You think, oh, lovely stuff right at it. Back to 15, Fitzpatrick second. Still working hard to keep that par run going. He's going to do even better than that. That's fantastic. I think he had half an eye on that, just releasing and maybe going in for a two. This is where you want to be down the left, and the lie is that that's as good as being on the fairway. One, two, one for a wedgie. Yep, decent shot is Fitzpatrick going to pounce and make his first birdie of the day. Just outside right uphill. It's exactly what you want. Exactly. Never anywhere else, was it? Fist pump tells you, first birdie of the day. Patience personified, and we have a new leader. Fine. Struck it well, didn't he? Yeah, get down. Get down. That is going to leave an evil little cut or chip down the hill in the back pole it is. Well, it's been a popular spot, hasn't it, for anybody attempting to hit this green. Up out of the dell, downhill, really rapid. I'd be amazed if he gets this to the hole. He knows exactly what's going on. There's a big board looking him right in the eyes. It was pacey. It's, it's good. It's not good. It's extremely good. Yeehaw. Yeah. He's always had a golden touch with the putter. Three 
shots for Fitzpatrick as he heads to the 18th. He struggled with his tee shot this week, Fitzpatrick. Wow. Yeah, he, likes, he likes it down that left wing. Yeah. That's just fine. Anywhere on the green, what with a three shot lead, that'll do just fine. Yeah, that's where he was aiming, he would have liked obviously for that to skip up onto the putting surface, but that should be job done. How's that for a bounce bell? Yeah. Chaps, if you're listening, they'll be up at Hallamshire Golf Club, I would imagine. They're all watching, they're all cheering for Matt. A product of Sheffield. This will keep going because it's so quick around the hole. That's a fabulous touch of game, isn't it? European Tour title and victory at Valderrama. Matt, congratulations. You are the 2021 Estrella Dam Andalusian Masters Champion. How does it feel to win at such an iconic venue like this? Yeah, you know, it's, it's, on, it's on the bucket list, you know, to, to win round Valderrama with the history that it has. Um, uh, to, to do it, you know, bogey free Sunday as well. It's uh, extra special. So, yeah, I'm delighted. You had a steady start, 15 pars in a row, then back-to-back -back birdies, 16 and 17. How does it feel to get the job done? Yeah, I'm amazing, yeah, amazing. It, particularly the, the way I did it, just very patient all day, did, didn't try to press anything, uh, you know, stuck to our targets and, um, yeah, managed to hold the putts at, at the end and uh, delighted with the win. So Valderrama definitely tested your patience then? Definitely, yeah. I mean, you know, you can hit half-decent shots and, and be, be behind a tree and, um, and you're chipping out or you've got to manoeuvre something, it, it, it's, it's, a, it's a true test and um, to, to, to sort of be patient the, the whole 72 holes, um, I, I'm really pleased with, with the way my attitude was all, all week. Well congratulations again, enjoy your victory. Thank you. watch another European tour video, click here, and to subscribe, click here.